What's up, bro? You back? You back, yeah, man? I'm back. And <laughs> what you getting done today? I'm cutting everything off, all the curls all of off, it. bro. Okay. All the curls off. How long you going? Uh, probably uh, eight or six. Um, okay. And then on the sides, like a like a high fade. A high fade on the sides. Yeah. All right, ball on the sides. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it, man. So he wants a number eight on top, which is gonna knock off a lot of this hair because his hair is tight and curly. So a number eight is gonna look like a lot. As you can see, we've knocked off probably three quarters of his hair. Um, but he wants a high ball fade, so it makes sense if he wants to do that, unless he wants to have an undercut. Um, so we're gonna do a high fade. A number eight on top which is still gonna be curly but it's gonna look good it's gonna make the top look longer than it really is when we do this high fade now I'm gonna lower the size to about a number three and notice I'm going with the grain around the parietal ridge but I'm knocking everything down to a number three against the grain on the sides because I'm trying to prep it for a ball fade I'm gonna ask him if he if he still wants to see cut because if you notice his hairline, um, he has a very full hairline, and so if I was gonna do a high ball fade and knock out the C cup, for example, it's gonna look it's gonna look super high. So um, we're gonna ask him, but in the meantime, before we ask him, we're gonna fade down to see how his hair reacts to certain guards. So we did a number three against the grain. Then a two open, then a two closed, and that two closed, honestly on him, looks like a one and a half on most of my clients. Alright, so we're bowling him out with the clipper all the way closed. I didn't go with the, the trimmers or the, or the shaver just because of, of his hair texture, um, but we're going to do the bald line on one side of his fade, and then we're going to go straight to our guideline. So blade open, and then we're going to go ahead and start to fade that down. So from the blade open, we might go three quarters closed, and then a halfway, then a quarter of the way, and then all the way closed until it's completely faded out. I'm not going to move on from this section until I feel like it looks good. Next step is going to be the number one all the way open. And we're going up about an inch, just like we did in the previous guideline. Once we've done that, we'll fade down to the number one closed. And then from there, we'll go to our half guard. And usually what I'll do, depending on the hair texture, if I don't feel confident because most of my clients are like my first time haircuts, I'll do my half guard all the way open or halfway open and then close it little by little until this section is blended like you can see here. So remember, when we started this fade, we did a number three and faded down to a two. So this one and a half guard is going to complete the fade. So we'll start off all the way open and close it little by little until it blends into that one open section. If it doesn't blend in, we'll drop down to that one open, then one close, and then we'll follow through to the previous steps until it's completely faded. Um, you could spend some time detailing it, but like I always tell you guys, man, just move on because if you move on and, you, and then you come back, you'll have a new set of eyes almost, right? And you'll be able to see the fade better. Um, and typically what I like to do is just move on, do the rest of the fade, line them up, and then detail the cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys follow along on this side with the color guide on the bottom left corner. definitely much more confident on this side
point we're just kind of detailing but what i'm really thinking about right now damn that face blur but what i'm thinking really thinking about right now is how is this lineup gonna come together because his hairline is is young so full you feel me um not just that but after i bald him out how is the fade gonna look so i'm gonna completely bald him out with my trimmers and these trimmers right here are next level they're like the perfect storm they're the right size so think about like the um the heroes cordless without like a very prominent bump to them you know what i mean but with like the skeleton feel And the clippers that I'm using as well, uh, uh, this is bangers, bro. And they're not out yet. I don't even know when release dates are planned for. But I'm really enjoying getting the opportunity to use um, those trimmers and the clipper version uh, as well. And then I got a video dropping pretty soon that's going to kind of share them with you in detail. Because I think it's important to do so. Oh, damn, that fade looking bird. I'm probably not going to use the shavers on him just because I can see his skin um, has kind of like an irritated look to it. Even though it's not, it looks like his skin just in general is easily irritated. So I'm not going to use the shaver or any other tools that might create some type of bumping. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use the trimmers and I'm using my skeleton FX's. We're going to try to keep it as natural as possible. Um, give him a nice sharp line and then we'll enhance it just to make the cut look next level. Listen, I don't know if you guys remember, but I cut his hair before I did a hot taper on him and he did like a curly, kind of like a wedge shape silhouette. Um, so when he said he wanted a high fade, this was a big, like this was drastic, um, a drastic difference. He's a barber as well. He's going to college and stuff, and um, barbering is something that he wants to to go after. And I can tell you, when he sat in my chair, man, he asked a lot of questions, man. And um, I think that's dope. I appreciate when someone sits in my chair and we can have a dope conversation. It's something I look forward to. Um, as a barber man because again barbering is not just cutting hair you get to have people in your chair who you can have conversations with all the time people of different walks of life different you know um, issues different problems and different visions and different things they're going through man that's why the barber profession is so dope because every day it's something different so at this point we're just kind of detailing the cut man and it, it really don't need a lot of detailing like if i was just in the shop trying to make a buck i probably probably honestly i would be doing 10 to 15 cuts at 50 dollars each um and he'd be out my chair already but i'm ocd and i can't do it so notice i'm using the shaver i'm only using it in the temple area i'm not going to use it in the back of his head because we talked about it earlier it looks like his skin is not reacting nicely to the clipper so i did a slight c cup just at the edges because he wanted a higher fade um but his c cup sits so high that if i would have would have like faded that out this would have been like a super it, military cut and uh, i don't think that's what he was looking for so we cleaned up the uh chin strap or the beard try to make it as refined as possible as clean as possible and now we're going to enhance the cut and we're using 245 no drip the 245 xl compressor and the sean cuts hair color card After I do any color enhancement, I always followed up with some detail line, lining. Guys, this is the before. Check out the after. Got the blurry fade, light C cup. We enhanced it. 
but it's a clean cut we did number eight which left it a little bit curly guys let me know what you think about the cut which i did the content on this channel i will see you guys tomorrow with another video